recently there's this viral video of this woman claiming that on the monster energy drink the M represents 666 and that through businesses devil worship or some BS like that is going to good Christian homes well here are some thoughts on what it is and what it boils down is to just pure stupidity this and I'm going to tell you why point one okay she claims on it va 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 which is Hebrew and if you don't know each Hebrew letter is assigned a number okay Vav is six well if you have va 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 that's 666, right? Wrong. In Hebrew, 666 is Tav Resh Semek Vav. Not Vav Vav Vav. And let's say even if Vav 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 was 666 in Hebrew, the M really doesn't even look that much like a Vav. And my second point, she says about that there's a circle with a cross in it. And what does Jesus have to do with an energy drink? She, I, you know, she kind of answered her own question. It has nothing to do with it. Absolutely nothing. And then she talks about the circle with the eye in it. When you tip it over the drink it it's an upside down cross representing satan and witchcraft no that's actually the greek letter phi not a cross and my third point is she's talking about milfs I, I don't know if devil worshippers like most. I'm, I'm sure they do. But how does that relate to demons? How 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 specifically does that relate to witchcraft? I, I'm not really sure. Like deteriorating of her culture, maybe. I mean, she didn't articulate though. And my fourth point, she's like, this is not a Christian company. First of all, I, I did not know companies had a religion. Unless you're the Supreme Court who thinks so. Companies aren't people. Companies don't have religions. And does it matter if the people running the company aren't Christian? You know, if the CEO of a big company isn't Christian, it's not like they're purposely trying to kill all the Christians convert you no it's not happening you know even let's say a CEO of monster was a devil worshiper does it matter I mean I really doubt they're going to try to subconsciously convert you or whatever she's suggesting to Satanism and witchcraft I mean, I really highly doubt they are. I mean, do the Christians who run the companies do it? Do the Jews who run the companies try to do it? Do the Muslims do it? Yeah, maybe a little bit. But in raw reality, no, they're just trying to make money. And that's to my fifth point. She acts like companies who are run by Christians are these big, wholesome companies. You're missing the point of a company. A company is going is trying to make money. Hence why I had the MILF thing on it. It's trying to make money. That's the purpose of a business. So yeah, while a business may be run by Christians, that doesn't mean it's going to be a Christian company. 
whatever that means, or it's going to be all wholesome and all that. No. They're going to try to make money. Okay, we can see this when corporations get a lot of backlash from their CEOs against gay marriage. Instantly they change it because they don't want to lose the money. It's the money, Lebowski. Well, anyway, that was my little rant on it. Uh, and all I can say is, you know, when you hear stuff like this, you know, find the facts for yourself. And don't just inadvertently listen to it and believe it just because they say so. You know, use your own mind. Think for yourself. And I know today that's a lot asking for a lot of people. But when you do that, your life will be so much better when you just think for yourself. Well, hey guys, I'm Jonathan Sweeney, Cincy Video File on here on YouTube, and make and make sure to come again. Bye. Bottoms up and the double laps. Something to think about. Wow. This is how clever Satan is and how he gets into the Christian home and a Christian's life and it breaks God's heart. Jesus said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Wow. That's awful. I've never even seen that.